Hey guys, I'm Steph and welcome to my beauty stash. Today we are going to be playing with concealer. We're going to be decluttering my concealer drawer. Now, I know I have a lot of makeup, guys. I've always had a lot of makeup in my life, and it's not just because I have a YouTube channel. It's because I genuinely have a love for makeup, especially foundation, concealer, and eyeshadow palettes. Those are my top three that I collect, that I always enjoy trying. So today I felt it was time to declutter some of this concealer drawer. Now, if a product is still good, I'm probably gonna pass it along to my mom. But if I know I've had a product in my stash for a while, I do need to toss it out. I don't even want to donate that to, to anybody. So let's get started with this concealer declutter. And um, yeah, guys, we, we need to clean this drawer up. All right. So I have a basket up here where I'm going to be placing the things that I'm going to discard. So let's start with this one first. This is the Too Faced. This is uh, one of their latest concealers. This is their matte instant coverage concealer. I enjoy using this primarily as an eyeshadow primer. I find that it works really well. Um, sometimes I will use it under my eye area. I don't feel I have to set my eyes with this one. I think it does um, a decent job without having to be set. I do like that although it is a matte concealer, you do have the hyaluronic acid in here. So um, I have the shade Buttercream in this. I know you guys have seen me use this quite a bit on my channel. So I'm definitely keeping this one. And actually, you know what? This basket, I'm going to put all the ones I'm keeping. And I have my trash can over here and I'll put the ones I discard over there. Okay, okay. Next up is the Jeffree Star. This is the Magic uh, Concealer, Magic Star Concealer. I have the shade uh, C5, the infamous C5 that was stolen from his warehouse. This is not stolen. I did purchase this myself straight from his website. I really enjoy using this concealer. This is actually a really, really great concealer. However, I find that the shades it's just a little hard to shade match. Like I feel this might be a little bit too light for me. I use this of course um, to highlight my face as well. It's just a really great concealer. I don't have any issues with it. It lays nicely under my eye area and that is the main place that I want my concealer to apply really well. So I'm gonna keep this one for sure. Um, another one I have, and this is probably gonna be one cause it's old. This is from the brand Collab and you can find Collab at Sally's Beauty. I enjoyed this concealer very much, but it has been in my stash for a little while now. So I do feel I need to update it. Um, this concealer, what is it called? Um, it's in the shade Porcelain. It doesn't have the exact full name on here, but I think it's one of the only ones like in this kind of tube from the brand Collab, which is a really great brand um, over at Sally's Beauty if you wanna check it out. Next up, we have one that I actually wore yesterday, and this is the Urban Decay Stay Naked uh, Correcting Concealer. I use the shade 20NN in this one. I really love it. You guys know I'm a huge fan of Urban Decay. There's very few things that I get from Urban Decay that um, aren't worth it. And for me, I love this concealer. I love the foundation that goes along with this concealer. So I'm definitely gonna keep this one. Um, next we have, and I think I have a couple of these. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear um, Concealer. And I have the shade 325 in this one. Go ahead and swatch it so you guys can see. I'll put it right here. This is a really good full coverage concealer. Um, I use it pretty regularly. I kind of almost out, um, but I'm going to keep using it. That way I can uh, use it up and then I'll toss it. Next up is one that I tried a few months ago here on my channel, and this is the Tarte C Hydro Sealer. Now, I liked this one. I have the shade 14N Fair Light Neutral. I like this for those no makeup makeup days because it doesn't have a lot of coverage. So, I mean, it'll give me a, an okay amount of coverage under my eye. Um, it needed to have a little bit more coverage and then it would have been perfect because I really like the way this wears under the eye area and even on the rest of my face, it just wears really nicely, but it does lack in the coverage, but I'm still gonna keep it. I use it for on those, like I said, no makeup, makeup days. Now this is one from ColourPop that you can clearly see 
She's an oldie. She's an oldie but goodie. And this is their um, no filter concealer. And I have the shade Fair 02 in this one. And I think this is the, I have two of them in my stash and this is the older one. But yeah, you can see it there. I use this uh, now. I just use it as an eyeshadow primer, but it's old. I shouldn't even be using it at all. So I am going to toss this one. Next up is a concealer that just disappointed me, guys. This is from the brand First Aid Beauty, and this is their Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. I have the shade 2 in this one. I don't know guys this one just it never laid really well under my eye area i probably should have returned it but i kept just wanting to give it a chance and give it a chance and you know how you have those products and stuff you just you want to try and make them work and then they just never do so um yeah this one just never worked for me i'm gonna see if my mom wants this one because i think this would be a good shade match for my mom next up is the makeup forever this is their ultra hd um this is the non setting concealer the concealer you don't need to set with powder or anything like that this is a really watery formula like there's a lot of product that comes out on here i do have a light shade i wish i would have gone a shade up in this one i have the shade 11. you can see it right there next to the other ones um, I do like this. I still use it, so I am going to keep it. Next up is from the brand Pacifica. I like this concealer. I just need to repurchase it because this one has been in my stash for a while. This is their Liquid Cover Full Coverage Lasting Concealer. And let me show you. Pacifica is a really great brand. They have them at Target and at Ulta. Um, this is the shade 20 and F, but I did like this concealer quite a bit, so I do want to repurchase it. And I am going to toss this one because it's old. Next up is from Maybelline. And this is the Maybelline uh, Superstay Concealer. And I have the shade um, 15 on this one. I've enjoyed this concealer. I wouldn't say it's like the best of all time. But it does a pretty good job. It does a pretty decent job. So I'm going to continue using it, try and finish it up. Um, and this one will stay in my stash. Another concealer that I got from the drugstore is from Flower Beauty. And unfortunately, I need to toss this one, but not because it was a bad concealer. This is the Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. I have the shade Fair, L1-2, I think I saw on there. But um, this is it right here. This is a really great concealer. I have the corresponding foundation um, as well but I just need to repurchase them because they have been in my stash for, gosh, probably two years now. So if you have products that have, uh, especially like foundation guys and concealer, if it's been for sure over two years, um, you probably want to discard it and get yourself another one. So I am going to discard this one. Next up is another one from Tarte. This is actually a repurchase for me. Um, and this is their creaseless concealer. And I repurchased this in a different shade, in a lighter shade. Um, I got 10 and fair in this one. I enjoy using this one. You do, I find I need to set this one um, cause it does crease on me, but like all concealer creases on me, um, even though it says it's not creaseless, but it's going to guys, if you have fine lines under your eyes, anything is going to crease there. But I find this is a really great coverage concealer, especially for your under eye area, especially if you like a little dewy, um, look to your makeup. And you guys know that I do. I've really enjoyed using this one. So I have several of these e.l.f. hydrating camo concealers. I love them. I have this one is in the shade Fair Warm. I was so excited when these came out. I remember it was Christmas Eve and I went hunting them down at Target um, and they didn't have it. And then I ended up ordering it um, online as soon as it became available. And I think I paid more for shipping than I did for the actual concealer so that I could review it. And I will have that review up above so you guys can check it out. But I love them and I have several different shades. I have this shade right here where I use um, to like, bronze up to contour which is uh the shade deep cinnamon and i also have i want to get them all out because i am keeping all of them i have the shade uh light sand which i used to kind of spot conceal and then i have one more guys these are like five dollars or six dollars so it's easy to get multiples when they're that price and this other shade that i have here is um light beige i bought this it doesn't match my skin tone right now, but I bought it. I think I was expecting to get a tan and I just never did. Um, but guys, these little e.l.f. hydrating camo concealers are everything. I 
absolutely recommend them. I love them. Um, they are all staying in my stash. Next up is um, the Revolution Pro Conceal and Define. This is the one that they say is a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape. Um, I don't think it's a dupe for it per se. I mean, it does offer a great coverage, but I don't know. I had better luck with the Tarte Shape Tape over this one. I mean, it's, it's a fine concealer. I actually think I am gonna discard it just because um, it's been in my stash for a while and I can always repurchase this. They have them at Ulta. I wanna say it's like $8 or something, but you can see it there. And I use the shade um, C1. So I'm gonna discard this one. Next up is the Hourglass Airbrush. I forget the full exact name of it, but you guys know this is their concealer. This is a really, really pretty concealer, guys. It does a really great job of um, concealing the under eye area and just any imperfections. I love the shade of this one right here. This one is cotton and I just enjoy using it. I've had it in my stash um, for a few months and it works pretty well with every with all my other foundations and powders and stuff so definitely going to keep this one next up is another one from makeup revolution and this is their conceal and define infinite longwear concealer i love this one but i don't use this under my eyes i use this to spot conceal it does an amazing amazing job of spot concealing you can see it right there. It's just kind of slightly darker than my skin tone, but somehow it works. It works really great because I mainly spot conceal on my cheeks and then I put bronzer and blush and everything on top of it. So um, I love this one. This is in the shade C5 and I definitely, definitely recommend this one for spot concealing. Next up is another one from Revolution Pro. I got this about a year ago. Um, this is their ultimate coverage crease proof concealer. This is, let me shake it before I open it. This is a really thick concealer. This is like maybe eye primer type. And you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of the um, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. It's that thick of a consistency. It feels almost identical to it. And it really is, actually, you know what? Scratch that eye primer part. This is not gonna be good for an eye primer. I just, I don't really reach for this that much. I think I'm gonna just maybe try it one last time this coming week. And if I don't like it, I'm gonna end up discarding this one. Um, this shade would definitely be too light for my mom, but um, I have the shade CO.2. I don't know, this is just, this is just a little too thick. It doesn't really set down. Like you definitely have to put powder on it, but then when you put the powder on it, on top of it, it kind of just looks like you're wearing too much. You know what I mean? So I'll give it one more shot. If I don't like it um, again, then I am going to discard this one. So next I have the It Cosmetics. Speaking of that one, um, this is their Bye Bye Under Eye. I am going to discard this one. This is in the shade Medium. I actually have two of them here. These are old. So I do need to get rid of them. This one is in the shade light. Let me swatch the one in light. Um, that way you can see it next to the Revolution Pro. But yeah, this one, it feels a little bit smoother, a little more creamy than the Revolution Pro did. But um, same thing, really thick. I don't know, just never really, never really worked for me under my eye area. But um, I have a, I think I have a smaller size. I have like a sample, oh, here it is. I have a sample size and this is the one I'll keep because I did get this pretty recently. It's in the shade um, Light Ultra Fair. So I'll hang on to this one. I'll try to make it work, but these two, they gotta go because they are old. Next up is one of my favorite concealers. This is the Dior Forever Skin Correct. And I use the shade, um, what shade is this one? 1N. Really do like this one. It does a great job under my eye area. It does a good job of spot concealing as well. Um, I like the shade on me too. Just a really nice, nice coverage concealer, kind of lightweight concealer. Um, doesn't really cause texture on my skin or emphasize any of the texture. And I've really been enjoying this one. Next is a brand, Doll 10. And this is sold at QVC. I did like this concealer, but I am going to discard it because it's old. And look at the little applicator. It's like a little circle. Um, that's the shade there. 
Um, it does a good job under the eye area of coverage. Um, it's a Hydra, Hydra Lux concealer, and this is a shade Fair, so it is a more hydrating concealer. It always provided great coverage. It's just that I've had it in my stash for a while and I need to replace it. Next up is the Fenty Beauty. This is their Pro Filter um, Concealer, and I use the shade 120 in this one. This is, it's an okay concealer. I wouldn't say it is my favorite concealer. Um, I do feel like sometimes it doesn't work with all of my powders or my foundation. Sometimes it can get cakey under my eyes. So I have to be careful um, what powders I use with it, but it does do a good job of coverage. I'm probably just going to finish this up and um, yeah, so I'll keep it in my stash for a little bit longer. Next up is again one of my favorite concealers. This is from ColourPop and this is the Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic um, Creamy Concealer. I have a dark shade for me. I have the shade Light 45W. I think I need to go down a couple shades because I use this more, I mean I do use it under my eye like how I would a concealer, but I feel I could benefit from a shade or two lighter in this one. I highly recommend this one. This is a great concealer, um, especially for the under eye area because it provides those hydrating properties, but it still sets down. You can still put your powder on top of it if you feel you need to set your under eye area, which I do. And yeah, really do enjoy this one. Next up is the Cover FX um, Power Play Concealer. I never liked this one. This one just always made my under eye area look cakey. Um, it is a really high coverage concealer, but I don't know. It just it just never played well with some of my other products. So. Um, I have the shade N Fair One. I don't know. I might give it one, one more shot this week, but then if it doesn't work, it's going to go in the trash. Next up is from CoverGirl. This is the True Blend Undercover Concealer, and I have the shade L200 in this one. I like it. I've enjoyed using this one the last few months. It's a pretty decent concealer. It has a good amount of coverage. Um, it lays pretty well under the uh, eye area. And it does a good job of playing nicely with my other products. So this one is going to stay in my stash. I also have this other one from Makeup Revolution. And this is the Conceal and Hydrate Concealer. I enjoyed using this one so much more than I did the Conceal and Define, like the mattifying version. Um, just because, again, those hydrating properties, especially under the eye area, that is the most delicate area of the face. And um, whenever we can find a good concealer that not only lays well under the eye area, but provides that daily hydration, um, this one does have hyaluronic acid. I always like to try them out. So I've enjoyed this one. I use the shade C3 in it. And it's just an affordable concealer that does what it's supposed to do. Now let's get to shape tape. So here are my two Tarte Shape Tapes, which I will be decluttering these because they're old and because I just need to get new ones. I need to update them. I have the shade uh, Fair and I have the shade um, Light Sand. I think Light Sand is the shade that I'm going to stick with. And let me put that one right here. Yeah, that's a good shade for me. I think the Fair was just a little too brightening, but here's Light Sand right there. Tarte Shape Tape, it's always going to stay in my stash. Um, I'll swatch fair also so you guys can see. It's just, you know, that go-to concealer. Like, I know it's going to work for me. Um, it's never really looked ugly under my eye area or caused cakiness or anything like that. So, um, I don't know. Gosh, I like both of them. Maybe I'll buy both of them. Maybe they'll be on sale <laughs> and I can get both of them. But these I'm going to have to discard just because of their age. Next up is one of my favorites. And you guys know I talk about this one a lot. This is a Milani Conceal and Perfect Concealer. Um, I use the shade 110 Nude Ivory. I love this. It just does a good job under my eye area. And um, it does a good job on the rest of the play areas where I place it good coverage, good price. Can't beat this one. Next is one of the e.l.f. Uh, original camo concealers. And this one is in the shade, again, light sand. Same shade as the other one um, from the hydrating line. This one I am going to discard because of its age. It's been in my stash for a little while and I used it the other day and it didn't really lay well under my eye area. So I'll get definitely pick up a new one of these, but um, great concealer. This one I would say is more similar to the Tarte Shape Tape than the Makeup Revolution. 
revolution conceal and define was. Next up is one from Estee Lauder. And I actually have, I think I have three Estee Lauder concealers in my stash. Yeah, I do. And they're right here. So let me talk about this one first. And then we'll talk about these other two. This is a double wear radiant concealer. I like this one a lot. This one is very similar to the um, Makeup Revolution Conceal and which one is it? Uh, it's these two are very similar to each other. The um, Revolution Conceal and Hydrate and this Estee Lauder Double Wear Radiance. Um, I would say they're good dupes or that Makeup Revolution is a dupe for this one. Um, so I do use them. I do use this one pretty often as well. So I'm going to keep it. And um, let me show you guys. Okay, so this is the another double wear, but this is a fuller coverage. And this is a more mattifying formula. This is a stay in place flawless concealer. I think I'm almost out of this one. So I am gonna just finish it up, use what I got. I have the shade, what shade is this? One end and in the other one, I don't think I told you the shade. Yeah, they're both in one end, but you can kind of see there's a slight difference. Um, maybe because this one is the more radiant one. This is the more matte one, but same shade, just slight variance in the color. I am going to keep this one. I'm almost out of it. Um, the last Estee Lauder one I have is the Double Wear Instant Fix Concealer. So one end is your under eye moisturizer kind of or illuminator. So you start off with that. And it's a really nice concept, especially if you're traveling and on the go, this could kind of act as your maybe under eye moisturizer. And then you lay this on top of it. And it provides a nice little radiance to the skin, especially to that under eye area. So I do enjoy using this one. Um, it's not as full coverage as these other two, but it still provides decent coverage. Next up is from Pretty Vulgar. I got this in one of my boxy charms. Um, I mean, it's nothing special. Um, I'll keep it. You know, it's not old. I didn't get it that long ago. So I'll keep using it. I'll use it to spot conceal and stuff for whenever I do like, you know, pretty vulgar um, reviews or whatnot. Next up is from the brand um, Believe Beauty. This is the Your Covered Liquid Concealer and I have the shade Fair in this one. Now if I, yeah, so the little... <laughs> The little doe foot broke off. It's somewhere in here. Um, so I am going to discard this one. It's a good formula. It provided good coverage and it was like $5. Um, but yeah, I can't use this one anymore. So I'm going to get rid of this one. So here's the other ColourPop um, no filter concealer. I'm going to get rid of this one. It's old, but I do enjoy using these. Next are these from Ulta Beauty. This is their full coverage liquid concealer. And I have two shades because I enjoy spot concealing with these more so than I love them for my under eye area. I have the shade light neutral and then I have the shade um, light cool. So let me swatch them both. These are really affordable um, concealers. Wow, this one is dark. How did I get to use this one as a um, spot concealer? Hmm. I must have had a tan when I bought it and this one too. Look at that. So this one, this one is light cool and then the other one is light neutral. They worked. They work on me as a spot concealer. Go figure. But um, I don't know. I might discard this one and just stay with this one. What do you guys think? <laughs> so next we have the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Concealer. I have the shade 20 in this one. I love this concealer. It does an amazing job of just covering anything, <laughs> anything you want, any um, blemishes you have. It's a full coverage concealer and I really, really enjoy using this one. Next up is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer Corrector. Not one of my favorites. Um, I think it could do a better job under my eye area, but I bought this and I keep it around for whenever I do Wet n Wild, like full face of Wet n Wild or drugstore makeup or something like that. Um, I mean, it does a decent job, but I wouldn't say it's my absolute favorite. Next, I have a small little mini size of the Benefit um, Boing Cakeless Concealer. This one was just okay there. Sometimes it would cake up on me under my eye area. Um, so I don't know, this might be one of the ones that I'm gonna try again this week. And if it doesn't work, this one is gonna, I'll probably donate this one. I'll give this one to my mom. This might be able to work for her. But then again, I don't know. 
So we'll see on this one. Next up is from Lancome. And this is the Mackey Complete. I think that's how you pronounce it. Um, concealer. You know, I bought this off of a YouTube recommendation. some Somebody's YouTube video that I saw. Here it is right there. Um, I was expecting better things from it. I feel like it's a really thin formula that you need to build up for coverage. I have the shade 110 Ivory. Uh, I just, I was expecting a little bit more from it. I bought this a few months ago, so I am going to keep it. I'm going to continue to try and play around with it, see what the best way is for me to use it. But I guess I was just expecting a little bit more coverage from this one. Next, we have the Revlon. This is the Photo Ready Candid Concealer. I have the shade 10. This is one of those that's going to protect from the blue light. I do use this pretty often. I think it's I'm almost out of it. So I'm just going to use it up and then I'll repurchase a new one. Here it is right here. I enjoy using the foundation um, from this line as well. I have the Glow and I have the matte. Um, so they're both really, they're both pretty good foundations if you want to check them out at the drugstore. Um, but yeah, the concealer has always done a pretty decent job. I hear the setting powder in this line is also really good. So that's definitely something that I want to try out in the future. So I'm going to keep this one. Beauty Blender, Beauty Blender Bounce Concealer. I love this concealer. This one just lays so well under my eye area. Um, you got to be careful because a lot of product does come out, so it gets a little messy but this provides an amazing amount of coverage and it does so without being too cakey and looking too heavy. And in this one, I use the shade 1.40N. Next up is one that I definitely need to get rid of because it's old and because, yeah, I'm almost out. Guys, this was like the second or third time I bought this and it kept trying to make it work because everybody always said such great things about this one, but this one just never really worked for me. It never really just... It didn't make my under eye area look any better either. It kind of made it look worse. So I am going to get rid of it. And besides like this applicator, I don't know. It's just, it's not for me. Next is one from NYX. This is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. Um, I enjoyed this one. I enjoyed this more than I did the foundation. And I use the shade, um, what is this one? I use the shade Fair. Here it is right there. And it does a pretty decent job. I think I'm almost out of it. So I'm going to keep it around. I'm going to finish it up. Next is the Huda Beauty. This is the um, Overachiever Concealer. I have the shade Marshmallow in this one. Again, this is just one. And here's... Ugh, it's been a while that I use it. This one just never... It just It's too thick, you know? I, I, I don't... I don't think it really laid very nicely under my eye area. It kind of would get cakey. Um, I mean, it does a great job of coverage, but you got to be careful when you're applying it under your eye areas. Next is another one from It Cosmetics. This is the Bye Bye Breakout Full Coverage. Let me shake this up. I have the shade Light, and I want to say at that time that was the lightest shade they had. And it was never light enough. It was too dark for me. And to be honest, I don't think it really covered my blemishes the way I was expecting it to. So I am going to discard this product. It's old too. Next up is one of these little cover girl, the Smoothers. This is the Fair. Man, this is old school concealer right here. But it's not old. I think I bought it less than a year ago. So I'm going to keep it around. It doesn't do a bad job either, guys. I mean, if you're looking for something that's been around for a long, long time, this little CoverGirl concealer, this is the original right there. Next is one of my favorite concealers, and this is from the brand Laura Mercier, and this is her Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer. I have the shade 1N in this one. It's just a beautiful shade for spot concealing, for on my under eye area, just all over my face. Um, doesn't really do a brightening effect or have a brightening, brightening effect on me just because it's more of my skin tone, but it covers and it lays and it performs so well. So definitely keeping this one. I think this is my third tube or third little bottle of this concealer as well. Next is another little stick concealer and this is from Alme. This is their uh, Skin Perfecting Comfort Concealer. This one was okay. Um, I don't think it's been in my stash. It's probably been in my stash for about a year. I just, I don't really buy a lot of Almay products, to be honest. And I think I was just lo looking for something for new at the drugstore. And that's how I ended up with this one. 
but it didn't turn out to do a bad job. I guess I'll keep it. I'll keep trying to play around with it. Next is the Catrice One Drop Coverage Weightless Concealer. Now, I love the brand Catrice, but this concealer is just too too watery and I don't like this little dropper type of formula. There it is right there. I mean, it does provide good coverage. It's a very, very thin consistency. I have the shade um, 03 Porcelain. Um, it says it's full coverage, um, sweat proof as well. I need to reach for it more. I don't reach for it that often. So I'm going to put this in my maybe pile <laughs> to where I need to try it out again. And if I don't like it, it's going to end up getting discarded. Next up is from NYX. This is the Born to Glow Radiant Concealer. Um, this concealer did a decent job. I wouldn't say it did an outstanding job on my under eye area. Maybe it's because it has that radiance effect. Although I have other radiance concealers that lay or do a little bit better of a job. Um, but it was it's pretty decent, um, but it's definitely not my favorite. But um, I do use it from time to time. So I am gonna let it hang around for a little bit longer. Um, what shade do I use in this one? I use the shade Alabaster. Next up is the Physician's Formula. This is the Natural Defense um, Concealer. This one has SPF 20. That is one of the main reasons why I decided to get it. And again, another little sponge applicator, which I don't really care for those. I mean, it's a nice concealer. It's a more on the lighter coverage side, but I keep it around because it has that SPF and because I have other products from the Natural Defense line that I do enjoy using. So yeah, we'll let this one hang out for a little bit longer. So this is going to be the last concealer that I have. And these other items in here, they're not concealers, so I'm not going to go over those. But this is the Bare Minerals, um, what is this one? The Well Rested Concealer. It is, of course, a powder formula. This is the only thing that can cover any pimples or zits or breakouts that I have on my face. And it just covers it and it stays covered all day long. I always, always have this one in my stash. I don't get a lot of breakouts anymore, thank God. But whenever I do, I reach for this one and it does a fantastic job of just taking that redness away and keeping it away for pretty much all day. So I really enjoy using this one. All right, guys, so we are totally empty in here. Thank you for watching my concealer declutter. This is what I'm staying with. <laughs> <laughs> I know it still looks like a lot, but do keep in mind, guys, um, with my channel, I do need to have things that I need to reference. So that is why um, I have a lot of these products. And also because, like I told you guys in the beginning, I really do love trying out concealers and foundations. Those are um, definitely some of my favorite things to try out. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. You guys have a great day or night wherever it is you all are at. Stay hydrated guys, drink your water, and I will see you all very soon. Bye!